Now, what blade length are you going to use on her feet? I'm going to use, I'm going to go with the 15, just because, again, I don't know this dog. If she was a black dog, I would be at a 30 because it's cleaner, it's easier to get around the toenails, get all those little wispies. Right. All the light colored poodles tend to clipper burn easy. Yeah, so unless you know the dog, I have a, um, I think she was shown, so she probably could have handled a 30 or a 40, but I don't know for sure I'm not, I don't know her. So we're gonna start with the back of the dog's foot. And we're gonna clean off this back part, just so we can see what we're doing. Find her ankles. We're going to clip up the two sides. This sets her whole how far down we're going to come on the foot. Clean out between the pads. It's a good thing you are using a 15. If you guys can, at home can see the discoloration on the bottom of her foot, it looks like she does kind of chew or lick on her feet a little bit. She might. It might be a little food allergy. Yeah, or even a chemical burn from some grass fertilizer. Could be. So what I'm doing is I've got my thumb, my pointer finger, and this knuckle stretching those toes apart because I want to get in there. And I want to clean out as much hair as possible. So she's got a really clean foot. You really want to see the foot. We're going to lift it up, come around in front of it. Now we came up the sides, and that's what's going to show us our line to set how high we go on the foot. You don't want to go too high. You don't want the dog to look like it's in what? Waiters? High water? Capris? We actually do have a poodle that comes into the shop that requests high waters. And we cringe every time it goes home. But we have to do it. Right. So I've just cleaned off the top of the foot so you can... S so now when I put her foot down, you'll be able to see a pretty foot. And it'll be just the foot. You won't have part of the hawk in there. Clean off all that excess hair off the top so I can see my toes. She could be at a better angle. Now, using my pointer finger and my thumb, we're going to start stretching those toes aside. and cleaning up inside the webbing. Poodles are water dogs, they do have webbed feet. And notice she is reversing the clipper again as well because it gives it such a nice, clean, crisp finish. So I'm just running the blade up the inside of each toe. I'm taking my thumb and sliding the skin Remember we said you want to hold the skin really tight when we did the cheeks? To get in here and get all this, you can slide that skin over the knuckle. That way you get all that hair that's tucked down in between the toes. You're not very cooperative, Callie. Pull that hair away. You don't really want any little wispies. When it grows out, you can see them. <laughs> Looks like she's got some pretty long nails. Are you going to be demonstrating a clip or a dremel? I how to clip them and dremel them as soon as we get her feet shaved. So there's her back foot, as long as we're back here, we'll show you how to set your bevel in really quick. Flip our blade over to the 40, combed all that hair down, and I'm done.
I'm not holding it tight because that never works for me. It always makes it too small. But the same as we set the tail in, I'm coming in at a right angle with that 40 blade all along my clipped line. And you do have to be careful. If you pull that hair all the way down, you might be cutting off more than you're supposed to. It's the same thing you might do with scissors. You always want to go to the clipper line that you already set, right? Exactly. Get the hair out of the way. And there's the beginning of your bevel with out scissors. Excellent short tip. And if you're really good at freehand, you can come around and shape it this way. Not something I'm really good at. And you're using a 40? I switched it to the 40 to cut into the hair. Yeah. Good to know. So going back to the 15, we're going to do the front. And there's numbers on the blade, isn't there? Yeah, there's numbers on the blade and there are little divots on the actual clipper that show you long into short. That's good to know because a lot of times it's hard to tell exactly what you're setting your blade at. Numbers make it nice and easy. And they notch in there so they don't move easily. I mean, you really have to make an effort to, to switch the blade length. Good. So again, we're taking off the back of that pad, coming up the sides. Stretching those toes apart so we can get in there and get it all. The more you get here, the less you have to get from the front. So clean it out really good. Come around the front. We came up the sides so we know how high we want to go. Just make a nice clean straight line across the top of the foot come here girl you show poodles don't you well I own poodles <laughs> <laughs> I showed and finished my first two Sid the famous Sid everybody knows who Sid is he, uh, he went out with a handler it's just I'm just way too busy I understand that <laughs> She had him finished before I could get him to his first show. Wow, that's amazing. It was, yeah, I was kind of spoiled. And then you also do obedience and agility? I do agility, yeah. Got a new puppy, Sid so just retired. So the new puppy is getting ready. Hopefully he'll be out this spring. That's good to know that, you know, it's not only confirmation, but you function your dogs. Agility is a lot of fun for dogs. Oh my God, they love it. If you have a dog that's high energy, what a great way to burn it off. You know, it's like, and it's good physically. Sid is now going to be 11, and he, he looks like an 8 or 9-year-old dog. He's in great physical shape. And you just retired him too, right? I just retired him, but I know dogs that are out there 12, 13, still running courses. So. So I'm just doing the exact same thing I did on the back foot. Sliding the skin across the knuckles so I can get all the hair out from between the toes. Now, another little trick, if you've got if you're having a hard time getting all those little hairs around the finger, around the fingers, around the base of the nail, you can flip your blade upside down. Stay, honey. And just use that around the base of the nail. And what will happen is the, the cutter part of the blade will grab those little hairs and cut them off. So that's just a little trick. And that'll work if you're just using a regular 10 or 15 as well. That's good to know. Now again, you're pushing the webbing up between the feet with what finger? I'm using this finger. I'm using my thumb to spread the toes from the top. 
my pointer finger to spread them from the bottom. And this one's coming up and pushing the skin up so I can get in there. So we've got our foot shaved. We're going to find our comb. Thank you. Comb it down. Are you doing the bevels over here too? We might. Yeah, we got to show you how to do it. Good to know. I hope everyone at home is learning a lot right now. I'm sure they are, because there's so many shortcuts that not everybody knows, and everybody, no matter how long you've been grooming, everybody learns something new all the time. Did we just not learn something on a schnauzer at Hershey? <laughs> we did. Yes, we did. You'll have to come back and see that, or go back and watch it on Barkley TV. Yeah, Barkley TV and Groomer TV, go watch our schnauzer's lesson. Yeah. So again, I've switched it to the 40. I'm just gonna hold it out loosely and just come around, coming in at a right angle to the foot and just taking off that long hair that hangs below my clippered line. And that's going to set in our bevel. Now, how much does this clipper run? This clipper is right around 170 is the suggested price, 169, 170. And then I've also heard that some of the vendors right now are giving out an extra battery still. Or is that just a Groom Expo? I'm not sure. <laughs> So I don't want to say they are and then find out they're not. I definitely know they were at Groom Expo, so you missed a really good show. $70 battery. So I'll find out, and when you come back at 2 o'clock, I'll let you know. Thank you. All right. So we're going to introduce Michelle Evans. She's going to show you how to do the toenails and how to dremel them. Now, and finish off that foot and make it look really nice. Good to know.